uh, a good bit of uh, risk and uh, uh, some complaints. Uh, however, in many ways it was uh, not at all like uh, the voyage of Apollo 11. Uh, first, uh, he wasn't sure where he was going. Uh, at least uh, he thought he was going to uh, China or the Indies and ended up, uh, of course, in a completely new world. Now, I very much hope that uh, we won't uh, uh, terminate at some place that we didn't expect to, some planet that we hadn't uh, planned to visit. I, I think we know a good bit about the place that we are going. And, uh, and it's also uh, necessary to notice that uh, he uh, did it without uh, an entire nation's efforts be behind him. Our voyage is, is the voyage of, of a nation and the voyage of humanity, while his was uh, a voyage of a very limited view. This is astronaut Michael Collins, command module pilot for the Apollo 11 mission. What do you think will result from the Apollo 11 flight? Obviously, we've opened up uh, a travel system, uh, which has heretofore uh, been impossible. We now uh, will be able to offer to human beings the, options of, the option of either walking on the surface of the Earth or walking on the surface of the moon, or hopefully in some not too far distant date, the option of walking on the surface of some other planet. And I think that the possibilities uh, therein are almost limitless. Uh, however, as I say, before such an event, I'm poorly equipped to say in great detail what they may be. And historically, we've been unable to predict the uh, benefits of, of various inventions or various discoveries. How do you view your role as command module pilot? Well, Apollo was designed to be a three-man job, and. The third, which I perform, is, uh, is I think, uh, as important, uh, no more so, no less so, than the other two positions. Uh, I think I'd be a fool if I said that I had the, uh, the best seat of the three. On the other hand, I can say with uh, complete candor and with complete honesty that I'm very happy to have the seat which I have and to be doing the job that I intend to do. Will you be kept pretty busy as you fly alone in the command module? Yes and no. I hope I'll be very unbusy. I have uh, two roles to play. First, I uh, act as the passive target vehicle, and in the event that everything is working perfectly within the LEM, then uh, I am not unduly busy. I have many chores to do, and I, uh, I prepare to, uh, to take an active role in bringing the two vehicles together. However, as I say, provided the LEM works uh, and can its radar is working properly, and it's capable of making each and every maneuver uh, uh, leading up to the rendezvous and docking, then my job is, uh, is essentially a quiescent one. On the other hand, should difficulties arise within the limb, then my job is to rescue the limb, and uh, I then find myself uh, becoming the active partner in charge of a very complex uh, vehicle with a very complex job, and uh, this is when I have truly become busy, and. I'm literally uh, racing from one side of the cockpit to the other, uh, uh, getting solutions to various problems from my digital computer, uh, making sure that my uh, uh, rendezvous radar is, uh, transponder and VHF ranging systems are working properly and doing a host of other small uh, details, all of which are necessary for the successful completion of the rendezvous. This is astronaut Edwin Aldrin, lunar module pilot for the Apollo 11 moon landing mission. What's the first thing you and Neil Armstrong will do after landing? One of the first things that uh, we will be engaged in is uh, making immediate decisions as to how long we'll be staying on the surface. There are several uh, uh, favored uh, abort points that uh, we will be checking various systems to, uh, to uh, get a stay or no stay uh, beyond these points. The first one occurs some uh, four or five minutes after touchdown, the next one uh, about ten minutes, and the uh, final stay occurs uh, one revolution afterward. You know, what we will be doing during that first revolution is very intensely preparing the vehicle for a simulated countdown to launch, which we will uh, 
uh, carry up to the last uh, five or ten minutes before the, uh, the ascent, one revolution later as the command module comes over. Following this period, we'll uh, go through a uh, power down of the systems in the lunar module, preparing it for uh, an extended stay on the surface. We will uh, have an eat period followed by uh, about a four hour rest period uh, when we uh, awake, hopefully from uh, much needed sleep of four hours, we'll uh, have another eat period and go through about a two uh, hour plus EVA preparation period. About exploring the moon's surface, astronaut Aldrin had this to say. Following the uh, EVA preparation period, we uh, uh, will go through the planned two-man excursion on the surface with uh, Neil exiting the spacecraft first. As he goes down the ladder, I'll be uh, taking pictures of him with a 16 millimeter camera through the window. Television camera will also be recording his activities. Initially, he'll uh, collect a contingency sample as, uh, as uh, I descend uh, onto the surface. He will then uh, be collecting a bulk sample of a larger sample of the uh, lunar material. While he's doing this, I'll be uh, uh, participating in an extended EVA uh, evaluation, just what are the capabilities of man to perform tasks on the lunar surface. We'll then join together uh, following the deployment of television and perhaps the uh, uh, deployment of the uh, flag on the surface. We'll then perform jointly an inspection walking around the, uh, the uh, lunar module, looking at the uh, various systems, the landing gear, making a very thorough inspection of everything that we can observe on it. In the process of uh, doing this, we'll be taking a, a series of uh, uh, panorama photographs uh, at three different locations as we move around. When we get to the, uh, about three quarters of the way around the LEM, we'll begin to uh, deploy several experiments. Uh, one is a, a laser retro uh, reflector, and uh, we'll offload these two from the uh, scientific equipment bay. The other experiment is a passive uh, seismometer. Uh, the deployment of these experiments will take some uh, uh, five to ten minutes, and they're to, to be deployed some 50 to 60 feet away from the lunar module. We return from this uh, uh, excursion around the lunar module. We'll then pick up uh, the equipment for a documented sample in detail in a predetermined uh, location some uh, 40, 50, 60 feet away from the lunar module. Following this, we'll package up this, uh, these samples uh, conduct a few core tube samples and other brief experiments, pick up the solar wind experiment, and then prepare uh, these packages to be transported up into the lunar module. I'll enter into the LEM first, and then Neil will uh, convey these two uh, sample return containers up on this tether assembly. Once they're inside, then uh, he'll re-enter the lunar module and we'll pressurize, and uh, that'll be the end of our EVA.